Eddie Arning spent most of his life in and out of hospitals and nursing homes. His art career began because of a volunteer worker, Mrs. Helen Mayfield. She handed out paper and crayons to the patients of the Mental Institute as a form of therapy. Eddie Arning was born on January 3, 1898, to German immigrants. His parents, Christoph and Lena, raised five children on a small farm in rural Texas, and there he stayed for approximately 30 years. When he was in his late 20s, he began exhibiting violent outbursts and destructive behavior. An attack on his mother was the reason for his initial placement into the hospital. Eddie Arning's artwork began when he was 66 years old. Initially, he drew pictures from his childhood, scenes from the farm, and the nearby woods. Eventually, he started to collect magazine advertisements and recreate the images that he saw there. The picture, Woman in Martini and Rossi, is a great example of his work. In this picture, you can see how he put his own spin on the creation of it. Mr. Arning usually drew a frame around his artwork. The background is filled with vigorous, energetic lines, often with directional changes, as seen in the entitled work. As a finishing touch, he would burnish the picture to create a completed look. His early works were done in crayon, but changed when he was introduced to oil pastels. His art career only lasted 10 years, but he created between 2,000 and 2,500 works of art. He sold them to help cover the expenses of his hospitalization and nursing home stays. Mr. Arning lived a long life, dying at the age of 97 in October 1993. Today his work can be seen in a couple of books, 20th Century American Folk Art and Artist by Hensel and Weissman and Folk Painters of America by Robert Bishop. He also had an exhibit run for one year at the Abbey Aldrich Rockefeller Folk Art Center in Williamsburg, Virginia. Today, his artwork can be purchased anywhere from $4,000 to $7,000.